Well, this is the journey of a boy born in a remote village who went from riding a bullock cart to owning an airline. A journey of an entrepreneur who built India's first and largest low-cost airline. It's the story of Captain G.R. Gopinath who quit the Indian Army, setting up a farm and many other things and his extraordinary determination to launch an airline rewriting aviation history. Joining us is the man who, himself who has penned his memoirs. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Gopinath. Now, you've been a farmer, a motorcycle dealer, a hotelier, stockbroker, in fact, before you became an aviation entrepreneur. Which was your favorite avatar? Uh, I think uh, farmer. <laughs> you know, I went through hell, but I discovered heaven. Uh, uh, you know, like all farmers, I got into debt. I got out of debt, but the, you know, living uh, on the land, uh, living with the farmers, living with the farm labor. Uh, you know, as I said, I went through hell, uh, but I also discovered heaven. Um, is this a book that's about success, or is it about learning from failure? I think it's about. Uh, loving life and it is about uh, living life uh, intensely uh, you know I think there are two dangers for us uh, as a society on the one hand we have you know the rich people or the people who have left villages and come and settled in cities who have arrived or who have settled down with wealth uh, there's huge cynicism you know uh, in their clubs and in their pubs uh, uh, you know, they're all the time cynical, they're all the time critical, and uh, everything is bad, everything, there's corruption, there is, you know, they're all the time cynical, and cynicism is slow suicide. And on the other hand, you have a large population of the disadvantaged, the backward, the labor, the unemployed, uh, who have got a lot of resentment, a lot of hatred, and, and, and they feel, since they're, they're exploited, everything is justified. And say so there's a real danger, uh, which you can already see, of they uh, getting into nexalism and Maoism. I heard a Mao leader saying, "Killing is justified because they feel betrayed, or they feel exploited." And uh, so my my story is not just about a Deccan and uh, and my helicopter company. Of course, it's, there's a lot there about entrepreneurship, but it's also all about you know loving life. It's all about you know, not being cynical, not being resentful. Uh, we share a destiny together, and so you have to admire and love what is good about around us. While, while you must condemn what is bad, have the courage to condemn what is bad. You must love life. You must love your there's a lot of this friendship. They, they are great. You know, if you listen to Bhim Sen Joshi or Zakir Hussain, you know how can how can you be resentful of life? Or if you even if you are poor, if you if you if you are, if you go into the Himalayas, if you admire nature, how can you how can you have hatred? Uh, uh, so, if you have people like Narayan Murthy, you know, you know, you have to admire all this. So, it requires a generosity of heart. But I think it's all about not giving an answer. It's not, it's not a management book with answers as to how to make money or how to build a brand. It is about uh, you know the inextinguishable optimism you know in our country, in our people, that you have to believe in this uh, in, the, in this uh, in this country. Yeah, you have to believe in uh, uh, the fact that it's not money that gets you where you want to go. It is your energy and it is your enthusiasm. So uh, I, I'm not giving any answers there, but I'm just telling a story as to what I did and how uh, the very journey itself was exhilarating, you know, more than the more than the destination.